Cloudy with gusty showers and storms developing on Thursday. Some could be strong to severe going even into the evening. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldridge, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you can see we have already wind advisories that go into effect at 1 o'clock in the morning. It will last 12 hours until 1 p.m. on Thursday for the Smokies for gusts around 50 miles per hour. Wouldn't surprise me if we get a 35 to 40 mile an hour gust in Knoxville. I'll explain and illustrate that here in just a moment. But as of uh, this evening, you can see from the Ultima Doppler radar presented by Madlock Tire Service and Auto Repair, East Tennessee's number one tire shop and auto repair since 1953. We have quiet weather, a couple of sprinkles maybe near Huntsville, more flooding concerns in those little green rectangles across Mississippi and Alabama. Uh, but we're really just going to see these showers develop later tonight and more activity as we head toward tomorrow evening. But the clouds will continue to increase and showers will develop late. But boy, it's very mild. Overnight lows won't dip much lower than the mid 50s tonight. As you can see, we have an abundance of clouds and they'll continue to stream in here from the west. Our high temperature today, 66 degrees. Well, what were you calling for? I was calling for 68. Uh, we didn't quite get to 68, although Severeville hit 70 today. Uh, but 66, normal high, 53. Record high from 1989 was 76 degrees, and we had 11 hundredths of an inch of rain in the pre-dawn hours. But you'll notice 70 in Sevierville, quite warm today. It was 68 in Greenville, 66 Morristown, and 65 in Teleco Plains this afternoon. But boy, there are some 70s just screaming our name out to the west, which is why I think we'll be closer to 70, like Johnson City was today. Uh, but we'll be closer to 70 tomorrow as the winds begin to pick up. In fact, we'll talk about what the severe weather threat looks like. Uh, Talking about medium chance for some 60 mile an hour gusts. Now that may occur, notice at the bottom, from 5 to 11 p.m. That's not when you wake up. That's not when you're having lunch outside tomorrow uh, because there will be some large periods of dry weather. But really, things really get cranked up as we approach the 5 to 9 p.m. time frame for severe weather and may go another two hours with the locally heavy rain. So I put medium to high for locally heavy rain. Large hail does not seem to be an issue for me. Uh, there may be some hail, but I don't think it'll be a, the size of a George Washington quarter, which is usually the threshold for severe weather. But the ch chance for a tornado, very low. It's only 2%, and it's mainly for the plateau. So that's where the severe storm threat uh, breaks down for me. I'll uh, more on that in a second here. But you'll notice the wind gusts do pick up quite a bit uh, across Middle Tennessee tonight and into uh, Memphis, West Tennessee. And eventually, you can see some 35, 40 mile an hour gusts sliding in from the middle part of the state and working their way here. So this is 2 o'clock. We've got a wind gust, Knoxville, about 35, Lexington, about 40. So we're between 35, 40, I think. And that's in the absence of storms. Because you'll note the time here, it's 3 p.m., and the main event hasn't even unfolded yet. But once it gets here with the approaching front, we're going to find copious amounts of rain. And then we'll talk about how much you can expect heading into tomorrow. Because if it comes down in buckets, which I suspect it will, notice the heavy rains start to fill in like so. And it could be over an excess of an inch. Some may find closer to an inch and a half. Maybe closing in on two inches. So we'll be watching that very closely. The yellow areas usually indicate two and a half, maybe closer to three near Jamestown and maybe up into southeastern Kentucky. But the Storm Prediction Center, make no mistake about it, they're not mincing words. They're using the colors, all three of them, the green, the yellow, and the orange. The orange is the numerous severe storms for the rest of tonight. Includes Memphis, includes Jackson, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Back here, maybe a rumble of thunder by morning, but even that might be slim uh, chances of that actually occurring. But I think we have a, a chance to watch some tornadoes, about a 10% chance for the rest of tonight near Memphis or parts of northwestern Mississippi. Heading into tonight, there's no real concern at all anywhere near East Tennessee. That's good news. But tomorrow, here's the playing field. We've got numerous severe storms in orange, scattered severe storms in yellow, and an isolated severe storm in green. So it really goes all the way down to the south, toward Baton Rouge, toward Birmingham and Huntsville, Nashville, more numerous severe storms, and really kind of breaks up west of I-75. If you're in Cosby or Gatlinburg, no problems, right? Maybe just some rum rumbles of thunder. But where we might get some isolated severe storms would be Maryville, Knoxville, also into Union County, much of Granger County and Claiborne County, as well as Hancock County uh, and Campbell County. But you go off to the west toward Wartburg, now it's more scattered, and maybe even northwestern sections of Fentress might be more rock and roll weather, including Cookville. So if you look at the severe risk, based on their analysis, this is where the, the worst of the storms will be, mainly to the west of I-75. And we can't rule out a chance for a tornado for our uh, western neighbors, 10% chance in yellow, 
5% chance in brown, 2% in green, and you'll notice it's about a 2% chance for Wartburg, Harriman, Jamestown, and Crossville tomorrow, but I don't expect that to really be an issue, probably until closer to 5 to 9 p.m., when the rock and roll weather comes back to town. So future cast will break it down for you. Notice we have a couple of showers that might appear out of nowhere between now and 11 p.m. You wake up tomorrow morning, you've got some clouds uh, and you'll have maybe a few hit or miss showers. Not a whole lot going on initially, but then once we get into six o'clock and seven, oh, and there's eight. OK, I, I see what you're talking about. How about nine? Any better? No, nope, it's probably coming down to buckets. The rain pretty hard. Now, maybe that's not severe weather. Maybe it's just some gully washers, but it's coming down in buckets uh, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and there's 11 o'clock. And eventually, this will work its way out of the picture, and we'll finally see these temperatures tumble with after a midnight high in the lower to mid-50s. That's certainly a possibility. But dress for the 30s and the 40s on Friday, because it will get progressively colder. Now, as far as the big picture, I can highlight some snowflakes. Oh, no, I knew you'd say that. Yeah, there are going to be some snowflakes in the Smokies once this front gets out of here. And there is some heavy rain, as you can see there, 11 o'clock Thursday night. But then there's some blue. I see blue. Ah, oh, it makes it into the Smokies. Even as early as 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday as it ramps up. But even those are just flurries. They'll maybe disappear in short order. And then we've got more sunshine expected on Saturday. So a lot going on in the forecast over the next couple of days. So for tonight, looking for a low of 55. That's no low. The normal high is 53 this time of year. Uh, normal low is 32. So you're talking, what, uh, 23 degrees above normal? That's very mild. That's uh, toasty. Clouds and showers reappear, especially late tonight. Lows about 56 in La Follette, 53 in Newport, 57 in Teleco Plains. Looking ahead uh, to your low temperatures here, notice you'll uh, about 56 in Wartburg and about uh, tomorrow's high, about 70 degrees. So a lot going on there, too. 70 degrees. The record high is 78 from the 1880s, about 1883. I don't think we're going anywhere near that. But uh, it is worth noting uh, it's going to be warm enough uh, to everyone's think, is this a record? No, it's not a record. So I put the warm, gusty storms, mainly late, strong to severe, and the gusts 35 to 40 miles per hour. As far as the Thursday outlook, could easily make it to about 74 for Newport, 71 for Teleco Plains and Greenville, and mid-60s, more common from Wartburg to Crossville, about 68 for Jamestown tomorrow. Again, very warm. Most of the activity comes in at night. So we'll see some activity overnight tonight, and then it'll really lock and reload come Thursday evening and into the nighttime. And then we've got some mountain flakes Friday, uh, but dress for the 40s and 30s as temperatures tumble. Uh, there should be a down arrow. There's the arrow. And we got 49, 59 Saturday and Sunday, President's Day as the federal holiday is known, Washington's birthday. Of course, banks are closed, uh, post office, all the rest. But uh, we'll be back in the 60s before you know it. Thursday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, more rain opportunities coming your way. By the way, you can keep track of it, all of it, all of it very easily using the Captain Accurate Weather app with Pete Michaels Traffic. Yeah, just go to the App Store, Google Play, search the two words Captain Accurate, and it'll populate on your phone or iPad. Very easy to find. And that way you'll get real-time weather alerts, plus you get app exclusives, app tutorials from yours truly, as well as storm tracking capabilities. You can track the storm yourself from the palm of your hand with this app. Very, very cool. Hopefully you'll download it today. Well, my name is David Aldrich. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.